If Gray's Anatomy has taught us anything, it's that you have to operate on acute appendicitis. This fact is imbued in the cultural zeitgeist. It's the first book of the Madeline series, for crying out loud. But paradigms, even one as inertial as this, can change. Now, an article appearing in the Journal of the American Medical Association asks whether we can give antibiotics for appendicitis. Finnish researchers, led by Paulina Salminen, performed a randomized trial of 530 people with uncomplicated acute appendicitis. That means no perforation, appendicolith, etc. Half of them were sent straight to the operating room. The other half got antibiotics. In this case, three days of intravenous ertapenem, which is a broad spectrum antibiotic, followed by a week of levofloxacin and flagyl. The big question was how many people in the antibiotic group would end up needing an appendectomy anyway. Well, of the 257 people in the antibiotic group, 15 got an appendectomy right away within that initial hospitalization. An additional 40 got an appendectomy within the following year. That gave an overall success rate for antibiotics of around 73%. This fell just short of the pre-specified non-inferiority margin that the researchers set, but there's still some more to be learned from this trial. The first thing we have to look at is why there was a surgical group at all. Well, the only reason really is to provide a baseline rate of surgical complications so you know what you're avoiding by giving antibiotics. Of the 273 people who underwent surgery, a full 20% had some complication. About half of them were surgical site infections. The other half were abdominal things like hernias, obstruction, refractory pain, etc. But there's a major caveat here. Almost all of the surgeries were done using an open rather than the safer laparoscopic technique. This is a bit crazy. Most of the surgeons I spoke to said they wouldn't consider doing an open appendectomy in someone with uncomplicated appendicitis in this day and age. Now, the researchers state that they encouraged open appendectomy so the results would be generalizable to areas of the globe without access to laparoscopic tools, but this really does stack the deck against surgery. Personally speaking, if I were offered a quick laparoscopic appendectomy with a low complication rate and be done with appendicitis rather than a 25% recurrence rate with antibiotics, I might do the laparoscopic appendectomy. On the other hand, if I were only offered open surgery with the risk of infection and obstruction, well, then antibiotics might just make the cut. For MedPage Today, I'm Perry Wilson.